Hey guys, just a quick video with some more, you know, channel news and the usual shit that my brain just poops out as we watch some more of my Agar IO gameplay, the game that makes me rage far more than any other I've ever played. Every time I lose this game, it pisses me the fuck off, and I don't know why. I don't know why, but this game makes me rage. Anyway, first of all, I had asked you guys for a new new game ideas to replace Outlast. Outlast just hasn't been real popular with the channel, and that's not to say we won't bring it back someday, but for right now, obviously, the gang's not too into it. So you guys gave me a lot of good suggestions. Now, I think what I'm going to do initially is go with Honey Pop. We played a little Honey Pop a while back. Spaz Kid was trying to get through it, but I think it'll be... First of all, it looked like it was fun to play. Second of all, I think it'll be fun to play for an old fuck like me because it's usually all young guys who do the gaming videos on YouTube. And the thing of it is for them to, you know, go into a virtual world and be surrounded by hot chicks, a big freaking deal. They're young guys, a lot of them making a lot of money, good looking. They can surround themselves with good looking chicks in real life. I got no fucking chance of surrounding myself with good looking young chicks unless... You know, I, I lock more of them. I mean, I lock some of them in my basement and shit, and then fucking authorities get involved, and it's all a big mess. So it'd be fun for me to get to pretend that, you know, the hot chicks are interested in me because I will I will go to any lengths to fool myself. and I'd make no bones about it. Also, Walking Dead, that got a, a lot of comments. Everybody's saying how great a game Walking Dead is, so I'll probably try and work that in too. My question for you guys is, and please let me know in the comments, I don't watch Walking Dead, so will the game still be fun for me? I would imagine so, but you guys obviously have played it. You've obviously seen the show. Do I need to see the show to enjoy the game? I can get uh, updates on it or get you know the gist of it because my daughter's a huge fan, so I can ask her about it, but I, I haven't watched it myself. So let me know, you know, will the game still be fun for me and fun for you guys to watch without me being a Walking Dead fan? I also wanted to bring up that I'm trying to do live streams on you now whenever I can. Right now, I can't give you guys a regular schedule, so I just kind of click on you now whenever I get the opportunity because I, I love it. I just love getting to chat with you guys directly. So I'm doing it whenever I can. But a lot of you have, have made comments about, um, just gave encouraging, or words of encouragement about the channel and that it's, you know, it's growing and so on and so forth. And so some of my goals for the channel I um I just hit 55 last week. Now, I can at any point now retire from my job. So my plan is when I get a few things, as anybody getting this age would be, I want to get everything tied up perfectly financially. I'm hoping to retire fairly soon, within the next couple of years at least, I'm hoping to. And when I do, I have big plans for the channel because I'll have so much more time Then we will be having regular scheduled streams regular scheduled streams i'll have you guys as guests on i was thinking of doing, I, i've just i've been thinking about all kinds of cool shit we can do i want to have like a pizza night and what we'll do on pizza night is spaz can i will do a stream we'll have some pizza and we'll pick one person at random that's in the stream you have to live in an area where pizza can be ordered online and delivered to your house we'll pick one person at random and we will go to the website they provide and order them a pizza so they can have pizza night with us i got a lot of ideas for stuff like that i think it'll just be i've always wanted this channel to be all about community and, and a family feel and i think that's a great way to do it so i got a lot of plans for shit like that also and it always has been if we ever got really big and there's no way to know if the channel would ever really explode but if we ever reach the 1 million subscriber mark it's always been my goal. You guys that know me know we are huge nuts for Disney World. It's been my goal to have a drawing. I don't I don't know how we're going to do it. We got to do it in a fair way, but to draw somebody from the channel in a drawing and have them pay for them to meet us in Disney World and we would record it for the channel. That's oh, that's been my goal. If we ever reach a million subscribers, that's what I want to do. I don't know how we do We want to make sure we do it in a way that's fair. Everybody has a fair chance, but that it's going to go to someone who's a regular at the channel. I don't want to set up any type of contest where somebody can just swoop in and, and grab the prize. It's got to be for people who are part of our community. Next thing I wanted to comment about was, um, just so you guys know, you'll see in a lot of our videos. I love reading the comments in our video section or on our videos. You guys crack me up. And you'll see people in there all the time 
Go like like right now. Everybody's waiting for us to get to DBZA fifty five, which we should do tomorrow. But you'll see people when they're going, "Where's DBZA fifty five? You fat fuck!" And some people get offended by that. I just want everybody to understand that's a running gag here at the channel because it, just in case you know you're new or you haven't caught those videos, I refer to myself that way in the title of videos all the time, and it's been mainly in regards to DBZA. Like when we were away, we we're in Florida for Braxton's birthday getaway. And at first I couldn't get any internet connection. So I posted a video saying, where's the DBZA videos, you fat fuck. And it's become like a running gag. So don't don't get mad at people that do that. It's it, it's a gag, it's a, it's a running gag. And you guys crack me up with it. And you guys think of some stuff that's even way wittier than you fat fuck. I must admit, some of the things you call me are like, whoa, some, somebody's got some creativity and imagination. I, appreci I appreciate creativity, even if it's um, vile and directed at me. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is I see that you know how uh, obviously I'm playing Agar.io as you're watching this and listening to this. Agar.io has this thing, and maybe you guys are more familiar with it, where you can play with friends. I see it generates you a link, and then you give that link to your friends. I want to try that. And maybe we could, you know, a bunch of us could get together, and if you sign into the Agar.io game, you know, sign in with either your... YouTube screen name or something very close to your YouTube screen name so we know who everybody is and that would be a fun way to play and I would use that those videos as the backdrop for these channel news and vlog videos anything like that I do does that work well I haven't tried it yet so in other words if I generate a link and then I post it in a video and say okay you know Tuesday night 9 p.m. Eastern I'll be playing a guy if you can make it come in will that link st still be good at that point you guys, I'm sure, again, you guys know more about everything than I do. So if that'll work, that, that would be fun. And what I'll do is I'm going to put that information within videos that are either gaming videos or these um, channel news videos or vlog videos. The reason being, I, I'm, I like when people join us in the gaming videos. And, of course, a lot of people haven't caught on to them yet. So if it generates a little more interest in them, that would be cool. So... In some of those videos, randomly I'm going to say, hey, listen, check the description for an Agar.io meeting meetup, and it'll be at the very bottom of a description. So that, that might be something fun, but let me know what you guys think about that. And speaking of the gaming videos, I want to find a good way to pick to have giveaways in there. What I want to do is Steam, almost all the games I play on here are Steam games. I really, I've gotten to where I love Steam. So I want to be able to do, like when Steam has a sale, where I can go in and give away a Steam game. You know, again, I just, um, I bought Bully because it was on sale. So like for that week, maybe I'd go have a giveaway where I'm just, you know, somebody gets picked out and um, I'll buy them a Bully game and send it to them via Steam. Obviously you'd have to have a Steam account, but I know a lot of you do. Hit me with ideas for that too. What would be a good, fair way to pick somebody? I have a process where I can go to any one of my videos and I have, uh, software that will randomly select a commenter from that video but the only thing there is it may be selecting somebody that doesn't even play Steam so if you got any good ideas about how to go about that let me know because that, that's something I'd like to start doing soon and I still haven't come up with a good way you know to pick someone at random and also know that they do play Steam games so anything at all you guys can think of in that line let me know that about covers it for, for this go round. Thanks so much for listening to me as always. And, you know, I'm, I'm showing you Agar.io instead of this creepy old face. So I'm, I'm trying to be decent to you, you know, allow you to listen to what I have to say without getting that feeling of nausea that I get every morning in the mirror. So, guys, let me know. Give me details on all that stuff. Let me know anything else that's on your mind. You guys know I... I Especially when a video is first up, I read all the comments I can. Then when, it, you know, as a couple more come up, sometimes they get lost behind. But especially initially, I see all the comments. So let me know what you like, what you don't like. Answers to any of those questions I just asked you. And, uh, you know, how your balls are hanging. Let me know all that. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, Polar Dicey. Your mother's a fucking whore. She sucks. Cock. For pennies and even at that it's a ripoff fuck you polar dice shove your polar dice right up your stinky brown hole whore oh, that was good.